Welcome to GC Cars. My name is Eric, and today we're going to take a highway POE drive in this 2022 Genesis GV70. And yeah, what are we going to do in a highway POE drive? Pretty simple. We're going to test the highway driving assist, we're going to test the cruise control, the um, high beams, and uh, not high beams, sorry. Um, yeah, lane keep assist, and all the good features that you get here in, a, in the GV70. Unfortunately, it's a little busy, we won't be able to do the handling test that we usually do but I can assure you that this GV70 handles pretty well and uh, kind of rotates actually a little because we have rear wheel biased all wheel drive and it drives pretty well on the corner I was surprised but we talk more about all that in the full review in the top right hand corner if you want to see everything about this GV70 of course also uh, these peer readers are not only meant to give you the view of the first person but I want to also give you the chance to hear how it is to drive the GV70 out of the first person so um, occasionally I'm probably going to be quiet for a couple of seconds here and there just so you can fully experience the, uh, the driver's perspective I guess let's still put it put into sport though for the for when we're merging gauges change back on the right hand side you can see in the gauge cluster we got a little screen it shows us the blind spots of the camera and let's start right off with the adaptive cruise control so let's put this on put it to good speed so we catch up to the odyssey in front uh, let's just do 110 we won't drive 110 but let's bring it up there and uh, it also steers now so I will let you show you how that works. Of course, always keep your hands on the steering wheel. The only reason why I'm not keeping my hands on the steering wheel and only occasionally touching is, is so that you can see that I'm actually not steering. Let's see how it does this corner without any issues. It can also automatically change lanes just like the E63 did that we had not too long ago. And while I am absolutely blind, I'm sorry that you probably can't see anything right now, but it's about to turn left again. <laughs> Make sure I get through this part here. And then I can show you the lane changes. So first of all, once again, G70 taking this like a charm, no problem whatsoever. Cool thing is you can actually, I don't know if you can see it in a HUD, but I can show it to you here. Let's see how it does this. Good job. You can see all the cars it's tracking in our gauges. So if somebody were to came by close by us, we would see that car come show up. It's pretty cool actually. It reminds me a little, little bit of the uh, Tesla systems, the autopilot. It does that too. That guy wants to go left. So let's engage a lane change. And you just stopped it. Okay. Don't know why you stopped halfway through, <laughs> but it just did that. Let's try that again in a second. Maybe I wasn't on the uh, steering wheel for too long and then kind of complained about that. Right, let's try this again. Can I just please put this up? Thank you. The GV70 can also automatically um, adjust the speed limits. We can drive in. Oh, and now we're coming to the track. And a little bit of track jump. Oh, well. Can we try one more change? Let's see if we can do it. And it just said no. Okay. Okay. Well, it does work, but. I'll be honest, it's not quite on the level of the uh, aim of the Mercedes system of it just trying to plus with a uh, steering assist or lane change assist, whatever they call it. It's it's like three different levels of distronic. It's a little confusing. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's let the car do the driving. Um, yeah, so it's not quite on the level. Unfortunately, it still likes to, it disables faster than the, than the AMG did. And uh, you just kind of have a little bit less confidence. The, the steering itself is pretty good. Like I said, I always like this system. It's just that 
the lane changes that, that I felt like it worked like 50% of the time so it really wasn't that helpful in the end but it's still still nice system still good system still great to have and I still used it a lot don't get me wrong it's just if you want to change lanes you got to do that you, you most likely have to do that manually anyhow I think we're already gonna end this video here because um, I don't want to keep this too long and we've done all we wanted to do so um, yeah thank you so much for watching if you liked it of course make sure to check out either the review or the other POVs we also have a night POV drive and we have a city POV drive um, where we test various different things here with this GV70 so uh, yeah, if you're interested in it everything's covered and thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it and i will see you in the next one thank you and goodbye <laughs>